Okay guys, so just real quick, we've had some people uh, asking kind of how you prepare a morel. This is about as easy as it gets, I think, for myself. You'll see I'll just take simple flour and I'm just going to want enough to coat these mushrooms up. Yep, this is how we're going to cook them later, right Gabby, or Hallie? Flour. A lot of garlic powder. I salt them more when they come out. Good amount of seasoned salt. And I like emeralds. Bam. Essence. I like to use that. It's got a bunch of little kicker spices in it. That's it. Okay. Take my mix. Notice it's really. Can't really see too much, so. Do a little smell. It smells more like more like flour than anything. I love Daddy. You want to smell it too? Well, let Daddy get it all ready, and then I'll show you. All right? Some more essence. I done put a lot of garlic powder in there, so yeah, it looks a little bit better. And uh, I'll whisk that, get all the clumps out. Okay. Smell it now. Smell it. Smell it. Smell better now, right? Alright, so just no, real simple. This one. Okay, hold on. Real simple. And another reason I like to pick a knife out of the house, the sharpest knife most people have is going to be a fillet knife. It's real thin. You're not going to have to put a lot of pressure to cut these morels. But the way you're going to prepare a morel, you're going to take it, yeah. cut it long ways. You can see, you can see all the stuff that's inside there. Okay, those are actually little bitty bugs. All those are little bitty bugs in there. You see that? See all them little bugs in there? Yeah. We're going to put them in a, in a little dish. Yeah! This is why you want to soak them a little bit. And the smaller they are, the less bugs you got. But you can see there's bugs in there, okay? I see. Now, you can fry these up. They're bugs. Yeah. You can fry these up, and I'm sure you're not going to mind the bugs, which I mean... I don't particularly mind them. Look, here's one. Barely anything in it. Don't see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split all these real quick. And after we split them, we're going to take them and I'm going to soak them in salt water. I don't use as heavily salt water as most people. I just add a little salt to the water. Um, people, I don't know. People say the bugs don't like the salt. I don't know. I, I can't give you that for a fact but yeah you soak them in salt water okay cover the morels up soak them in salt water after I do that I'm a pretty quick eater after I soak them for an hour or two things really start to fall down to the bottom what I'll do is just about like the little ones there's practically nothing, in there. practically nothing in there look at that not even anything so after I cut them and I soak them for about an hour. I go ahead and just pull them out, strain them in a strainer, and then I just rinse them off really good to where by eyesight I can see that there's nowhere near as many bugs, nowhere near as many pieces of dirt or debris in there. Um, that's just my personal preference. A lot of people like to soak them overnight. I don't. They're too hard to find. I mean, you can see this is all I found this weekend. So. Some of these smaller ones, usually I don't split. I'm doing it for the sake of the video. It's not going to hurt anything. Most of these little ones that you cut open aren't going to have anything in them at the all. baby, Daddy. These are babies, aren't they? Yeah. Babies. So, I mean, yeah, you can babies. see the inside of the little ones are just... I want to see, Daddy. Pristine. They're clean. Ooh, yeah, usually I don't even split them. So, we're going to split these open. After I soak them hour or two, I'll rinse them, get everything out of them, I'll flour them, and then I'll actually start the video the over baby again daddy. show you guys how I'm going to go about everything else. Baby. Yeah, I'm not even going to split these. These are just going to be... We're going to fry them up with the bugs in them and everything, ain't we? Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know. I don't have too many. Maybe I'll split them because you little boogers are going to eat them up. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. 
How about that? Yeah. There are mushrooms. How many? Mushrooms. Not too many, huh? Yeah. Not a lot. Yeah, a lot. No. Not a lot, but at least we got enough to eat, right? So, that's I that. After we split them all, they're all in here halves. I'll take them, put them in something bigger where they can actually float. When they're floating, you'll see a lot of debris. Just go in there and I'll give them a shake like that every once in a while. You'll see more stuff go to the bottom. After you've let them soak either overnight or just for a couple hours, if you can't wait like I can, I cannot wait. I'll pull them out, put them on some paper towels, pat them dry, roll them in flour. You can do an egg flour mix, whatever you want. That dirties up my fryer, so I just do just flour. Yeah. Shake them real off, put it in the basket, yeah. drop it in grease. Watch them until they're golden brown, and you've got the most delicious mm -hmm. wild edible yeah. that you can find. Right, dude.